Latest, but not the greatest, numbers on the microchip shortage. North America loses 79,000 more vehicles. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We're discussing reasons for being thankful and a brief health update after what I went through this past year. But to the point of my opening statement, as the second full year of semiconductor shortages nears an end, automakers are still cutting back cars and trucks off of their schedule. North American factories were forced to eliminate another 79,000 vehicles from their production plans this week because of ongoing shortages of microchips, according to Auto Forecast Solutions, AFS. As the industry nears the end of a second full year of the shortages worldwide, automakers still face more schedule changes to deal with the problem, and some seem to be cutting cars just for the heck of it. <laughs> According to AFS's latest forecast, microchip shortages will have knocked 4.4 million vehicles out of global production plans by the end of 2022. That is nearly 400,000 more vehicles than already have been eliminated this year. And with barely a month left of the 2022 calendar, AFS indicates that China's auto factories have been relatively spared from the chip crisis this year. Wouldn't you know it, China was spared? Yeah. They were behind the start of the pandemic and they somehow are spared from shortages? Where's the justice in that? Among the news about semiconductor shortages came stories of strange coincidences. Fires destroyed or shut down plants when it was crunch time. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but a continuation of disastrous events like this in various areas of the world seem well beyond a mere coincidence and certainly make it look like somebody want the world to be short on microchips. To Liz's point, the Asahi Kasei Semiconductor Plant, which specializes in ADC and DAC components, caught fire in October 2020. The strange phenomena of fire has been stopped there. Another Japanese factory owned by Renaissance Electronics, which supplies 30% of the global market for microcontroller units used in cars, caught fire in March 2021. Renaissance reportedly said it would take them at least 100 days for them to get back to normal production. More disaster in January 2022 in another area of the world, a fire from the Berlin plant of ASML affected the production of EUV lithography equipment used in chip production. That's what I'm talking about. It was like somebody wanted the semiconductor chip shortage to happen. If it wasn't totally by design, it was one of the best coordinated rehearsals of accidents in modern day history. Hear the sarcasm? <laughs> Dripping with it. <laughs> While it is indeed a little tough hearing more disappointing news about automotive microchips, and even some of the complete hogwash going on behind the scenes, it's also the time of year for all of us to celebrate with some Thanksgiving. And beyond the complaints, it's important to remember the many things we have to be thankful for. That's right. I'm thankful for the longtime loyal following that we've developed here on YouTube. So to all of you watching today, thank you. I am also quite thankful to have my health back. Well, you're lucky to be alive after what you went through. You're still alive, and that's what I'm most thankful for. You are a miracle. And you proved to be my miracle on the outside, Liz. You kept things going here on the THG channel. It's been a challenging road back to health, folks, but I've had a ton of help. Liz has gone out of her way on everything, driving hundreds of miles at times to get me help. There's a reason I call her amazing, because she is. I went out of state several times for electrotherapy to repair the damage done to my lungs by the ventilator. I used a hyperbaric chamber to get off the oxygen machine, and I've worked out regularly. It's all paid off. And then recently, I made a discovery involving a new and innovative way of stimulating my body's stem cells that has been accelerating my road to health. With how much progress I've made recently, I optimistically think I'll make a full recovery when all is said and done. I won't go into the details here, but if you or a loved one are dealing with health challenges or went through something even remotely close to what I did and you'd like to know more about my pathway to recovery, I'll gladly share individually with you via email. And I think you can see that what I'm doing is clearly working for me. Go ahead. Please email Kevin with your health-related questions to Kevin, the homework guy at gmail.com. I will definitely get back to you. I'm also thankful for the homework guy channel we started here on YouTube 13 years ago. I would have never thought we'd develop a snowball so big that yeah. not only would we reach millions of people ourselves, but it's pretty clear that we've inspired many like-minded people to follow in our footsteps and join in the effort of defeating car dealers by advocating for car buyers. Some put most of their effort into copying us originally, but that's okay. Imitation is the greatest form of flattery, right? Sure. About a year after we started the homework guy, over in Australia, we saw John Cadogan, the auto expert, jump on board and start helping viewers down under. And 
Who would have ever thought that an active car salesman working at a dealership would jump on board? That took some courage, I can tell you. I'm speaking of the Chevy dude who got on YouTube back in August of 2012. And then Earl Stewart, a dealer I think we helped convert to the good guy category, joined the YouTube community in August of 2013. And of course, we can't forget Lucky Lopez in April of 2018. And then not to forget the father-son combo over at Yah, Ray and Zach, who came to YouTube in December of 2019. Zach pulled his dad out of retirement. They're doing a great job over there too. It's quite an impressive group of creators we have here on YouTube. Car buyers ought to be ecstatic. Think of all the benefit to consumers resulting from a very humble start 13 years ago. We showed others it was a worthwhile effort and we likely encouraged them to participate. Perhaps now they'd mention that on their shows. Very true. We just celebrated our 13th birthday on YouTube. And Liz, I can't miss saying I'm very thankful for you. It was you who convinced me to give this a go in the first place after I finished my first week of car salesman training and said, wow, I can't do that kind of stuff to people. And you responded with, if anyone can learn the process and teach people how to beat car dealers nonsense, it's you. You encouraged and inspired me, Liz. Oh, thank you. And then later, unfortunately, you got fired for being too honest with those customers. Those yes. Those are the days. <laughs> yes, I wear that like a badge of honor, let me tell you. It was icing on the cake to be fired by a dealer owner who went to great pains to convince his community that he was a great moral man. But I was just too honest for his dealership. Incompatible is what he said to me. I'm thankful for that because we made lemonade from lemons and built an empire on that temporary setback. Right. And our website said, promoting fairness, honesty, and transparency in the car business, and it still does. Actions revealed his true mission, and it spoke much louder than his words. He literally stole from people and then did community food drives and superficial acts of kindness to cover up and pretend he actually cared about something more than himself. Well, but thank you to our loyal followers and even the employees from his dealership who constantly trolled us when we first started. All of you have made this journey very worthwhile and rewarding. Very worthwhile. Our viewers are indeed the best. Thanks to all of you. And could I ask each of you to do me a favor? Share our message of thanks with others on social media and let's keep the spirit of thanks going. You know something we haven't done in a while, Liz? We haven't mentioned our tip jar. Oh, true. Well, after you got out of the woods with your health challenges, we just didn't mention it. So if you'd like to send a little cheer our way and a token of your appreciation for the service we provided and the inspiration we've given to so many others to join YouTube, you can do so at any of the links appearing on the screen now. PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. We made it easy as pie. Mm. The links also appear in the description box down below. <laughs> if you're new here at the Homework Guide channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome you to our family. And remember, if you were on the live stream premiere today, text us your name to 701-441-3399 and we'll give you free assistance on your next car deal. That's right. We'll help you kick butt on your next trip to the dealership. Yep. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful followers out there. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing out with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Thanks again, everyone. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.